Oh, oops. I'm, I'm like done being dumb and shit let me know if you like to see my nips but hi guys um welcome to my channel this is my first video i'm like so excited super excited to finally be starting my youtube channel i mean it's like a long overdue i'm late <laughs> i'm so late but yeah i'm so excited i'm chuffed because obviously, like, um, I've just been on this Instagram thing for the longest. But, I mean, I think, you know, people people want to get to people want to get to know the people they follow. People want a bit of personality. So here I am. Make sure you lot subscribe to my channel. We're going to get to know each other. We're going to bust some jokes. We're going to, we're just going to have fun. And we're going to be here for each other. Let's be a support system for each other. Especially if you're a female. Um, well, you know males you're you're welcome to but especially if you're female because it's hard out here it's hard out here when you're female trust me okay so um make sure you like my video make sure okay so the story i'm telling so like um i'm in my like late 30s now but in my early 30s so, <laughs> shit okay so the story i'm telling now I was in my early 20s. I'm in my late 20s now. Um, I was at uni. I went uni in Brum. Um, so I'm at uni now and I meet this brother in Tesco's. He was French. He wasn't even English. Um, I gave him a, I, I gave him my number. Um, you know, sometimes you just give someone a number, but you, you don't know what, if you're going to, if it's, you know, like if you're, you are going to chat or you're going to see them or even if you're going to be interested when they text you, you just go with the flow. So I gave him my number, really not thinking anything of it. Cut a long story short, I'm like a 22 year old young girl. And then I clocked that I given my number out to basically like a Premier League uh, footballer that played in like one of the teams in Birmingham. There's only two teams, so it's really. You know, that I had to figure it out. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I figured that out later because he put it on, his, it was on his DP or whatever. It, like, came out a match or whatever. And then, um, I thought this is interesting. I wonder what it's like to date one. So I, I went on a date out of curiosity. But then he was a really nice guy and he was African. So, um, it was refreshing because I was used to dating British boys and I was dating like an African boy and obviously he was wealthy so it was so different to what I was used to like usually I would date just like a normal uni boy or like a road boy so when I dated him I thought you know maybe this will this is God has given me this maybe this is a blessing so I ended up really liking him um I was really cool with his brother blah 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 but listen yo Listen, yo, like, um, he was trash, though, like, because men are trash. So I thought he was a cool guy, obviously. And I waited, I made him wait ages as well. I think I made him wait, like, six months. In the meantime, he was smashing other, other things anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, I cut a long story short, um, one day he goes to France now on a holiday, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When he used to go to France, he used to go quiet. He never used to talk to me too tough. Um, and I don't know why I didn't question it, but I just let it slide. Now, this particular time, particular time he went to France, he was messaging me. You know, talking to me, yo, baby, yo, baby. But on a different number. Some random number. I should have seen red flag there, but I didn't clock because I'm... Sorry, I just spat at the screen. My apologies. I didn't clock because I'm stupid. I'm fixed. I didn't clock. Anyway, cut... You know, cut a long story short. Um, this number is messaging me. It's what's his face. I'm going to call him Edgar. It's Edgar, yo, babes. This, that, and the third. Cool, we're chatting, we're chatting. The conversation gets a bit naughty now. He asked for a naughty pic. I used to send him naughty pics, so it wasn't an alarm bell. Babes, listen, girls, don't do that. Don't be sending... Whew. Yes, like I was saying, don't give... 
boys nudes unless your face is cut up <laughs> okay so like um I'd already done this in the past he was bae at this point he was my boyfriend so can't send it to him and then um it was weird that like, he was asking for really naughty shit like um I used to send him like these levels you know what I'm saying these levels to nudes like you can send like fucking you know a bra pic or like a you in a sexy dress Yes, like I was saying, don't give boys nudes. Unless your face is cut up. <laughs> okay, so like, um, I'd already done this in the past. He was bae at this point. He was my boyfriend. So, can't send it to him. And then, um, it was weird. Like, he was asking for really naughty shit. Like, um, I used to just send him, like, these levels. You know what I'm saying? These levels to nudes. Like, you can send, like, fucking you know a bra pic or like a you in a sexy dress <laughs> oh my god my cannon is like oh, doing my head in okay shit so yeah he was texting me asking me for the pictures cool send the pictures over mm -hmm. and by the way he was talking to me more than usual like he was talking to me all day long and he kept telling me oh you're so pretty you're really pretty and i was thinking but you see me all the time don't get me wrong it's nice to have a compliment but like you see me all the time you're acting like you've never seen me before alarm bell alarm bell number two so i didn't even clock anyway cut a long story short he um it four days go on we've been talking every day non-stop and i was thinking this is so unlike him but i was loving it you know I, you know it's nice to get attention from your bae i mean anyway he went quiet for like two days. I, I you know, he said something weird shit. He said to me that, "Do I want to have his baby?" And I was like, um, "I was only twenty two, so I was like, mm. but it was cute that he liked me that much that he wanted to trap me. But I, I wasn't trying to have a baby. But it was cute that he, you you feel me like that. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. Oh shit. But girl, anyway, two days later. I go on Facebook now and I get a request and it's my name my name is you know Lani Lani good so um it's my name um and it, my photo is there and it's a collage and it's a collage of my face and then you know I can pick stitches for them there's my face and then I think like my tits uh, another nui area <laughs> like you know the one downstairs and then something else um come i think my ass or something and literally i clicked on the page and in the bio it says some mad shit about me like some home wrecking ho ho bag la 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 and then like it had added like bear girls and bear guys people that i knew and loads of french dudes listen it was traumatic you know it was so traumatic i was like thinking oh my god like <sighs> like <gasps> like literally like i couldn't breathe i called the police because you know like um there's some sort of thing that's like it's illegal to do so i'm so um bullying you know when it happens in black china i can't remember what it's called but um listen i was having a heart attack like everyone was seeing my fanny literally everyone was seeing my fanny but she wouldn't delete it i had to call edgar edgar was being an so he was like uh, i have a game you know i have to take us i have to sleep i'll sweat out like but he wasn't really doing nothing you know the the thing is i think if you haven't put this together the person that was talking to me for four days was his uh baby mother um she told me that she was like i'm edgar's wife i'm edgar's wife and i was like sweat out what sweat down sweat down he has a wife sweat down edgar has a wife sweat down what sweat down sweat down okay 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 sweat down okay 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 i mean wait it's sweat anyway pricking it but anyway sweat down edgar had a wife so Okay, she's not his wife, but she's his baby mum, and they were in a relationship. Trust me. Like, there's nothing that boy can say or say say to me to act like he wasn't. He was in a relationship with that girl because I spoke to him years later, and he was like, "Oh, she was cheating on me too." 
but you told me she wasn't your okay afterwards like when i was confronting him he's like she's not my girl okay but now she cheated on you too so she what you wasn't in a relationship with her waste man whatever so um you know i was upset and shit but eventually these pictures got deleted after everyone had seen my fanny um like everyone um people were actually really nice like people always look at a lot of people will see you as a victim because you are so people were really 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 nice about it i mean listen that's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me that was the beginning of shit that was the beginning of trash guys like that was the start i mean that was nothing compared to what i've actually been through like i have been through some real pain in fact if i tell you the truth i'm going through some pain now like <laughs> i'm going through some pain now like honestly like if I like I couldn't even tell you the story about what's happened to me right now because I probably would have started crying And I'm not f trying to like get into that um, Zone right now like you know, what I mean, you know, you know, I'm, I know I'm digressing but I just met this dude that I just feel like he's my husband and I love like I love him to bits and um, uh, He's perfect in every way but he's a hoe. No, I'm joking. No, but it's like it's for like it's for real. Like like girls, like especially if you live in our like um, what do you call it? Our generation, like it's hard out here. It's proper hard out here. Like it, it's hard to find true love. But yeah, like at the time when my pictures leaked, I was I was shattered. I was embarrassed and stuff, but. It came to pass. She apologised to me. She rang me on the phone. She said sorry. She asked me questions about me and him. I just I said whatever I said to her. Me and him like stopped seeing each other after that. He obviously um, had to be with his woman. Um, he came back because all guys come back like a year later or whatever. I think I went to see him because I was broke. If I'm honest, I wanted a grand or whatever. He was he the guy was rich, so you know um. A, a grand when you're 20 um two is like you think you've won the lottery so i think i went to see him for that funny enough funny enough re like really weirdly enough um recently like a month ago he's actually reached out to me and he all of a sudden wants a relationship with me yeah what is that what is that what is that why why can't men realize your worth when they first meet you i mean what is that why can't they just meet you and be like mm. like you look into each other's eyes and the love is in the eyes there's a connection in the soul the chemistry, the fire. Why can't it just be then the beginning day dot? What? Why do you have to fuck up and come back to me two, three, four, five years later? Do you know what I mean? I'm not just saying one guy. Like most most guys, ninety percent, ninety five percent of guys always come back, and I don't get that. I don't get that. Men are just like they're stupid. But yeah, like he come back, whatever. He's trying to hold a night. You know, now he's like. He was always a bit older than me. He was 27 when I was 22, so now he would be 30. I'm giving you not too many clues about Edgar, you know, you might clock him. You might clock him if you actually did your research, but I don't want you to. Don't, don't do your research. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, but Edgar now, um, yeah, he was older than me, so now he would be... Uh, in. So he was 27 so he would be like 33 my maths isn't he like he's a decent age like i can see why he wants to settle down and i can see why he wants to settle down with me because i'm like you know i'm a nice girl i'm i'm a nice girl 
like really I'm a nice girl I'm down to earth and I'm I, f I feel like I love really hard do you know what I mean and I wear my heart on my chest I just and I'm just like I just think I'm a really nice person and I've got I've got a really 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 big heart so anyway um and guy wasn't supportive with the nudes or whatever you want to call it. He just, he wasn't, he didn't really give a shit. He wasn't really saying nothing too tough. He wasn't, he just, he just, he just didn't get it. Um, it was just being an arsehole about it. He spoke to her a bit and whatever. He made her apologise, but really and truly it took too long. I mean, my pictures were actually up for like three days, guys. Three days my nudes were up and everyone saw my bits. Um, how, how did I feel ab about that, being exposed online? Uh, you know. Like, it, not in a, I know it sounds really weird, but I didn't leak my nudes. Somebody leaked my nudes. So, why should I feel bad? I didn't leak them. Someone else did. And I'm co very comfortable with my body. So someone gets to see my great tits, you know. You know, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, like, no, like, whatever. Like, no one's phased about that. Whatever. But, you know. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I'm acting like I'm so happy today. This is actually bullshit. I'm not. I'm in a fucking bad mood. I want to fucking cry, to be honest with you. Oh. Like, I do. Like, I actually want to break down because, like, <laughs> I just, like, I, I'm just a mess right now. I, I'm acting like I'm good, yo, but, guys, I'm not good, yo. Anyway, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have loads more story times, and I just hope that we can, like, create this family where you lot can just like help me and we can help each other and hopefully one day i'll be making these videos with my bundle of joy and my husband like mr darcy or whatever you know what i'm saying so like thank you for listening